to the map, it must be there! Maybe the storm put us off course? No. This map is upside down! Hey man, welcome back! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Le Bug's Ring. Episode 15! In this one, we are going to create the final pass, the Raindrop Specula Pass. So let's get started. Again, we copy the previously used render over. Paste it into our box and then drop in a Merge 3D and hook it into the renderer already. Now since we want to have uh, specularity, we will need a light. Now we don't need shadow, so a point light is sufficient. Hook it into the Merge 3D, then zoom out a bit and drop in a replace material. To get our scene, branch out from here by creating a router. And hook it into the replace material. Then hook the replace material into the Merge 3D. Now we won't get specularity if we hook this bump map into the replace material, uh, so we need a shader or a material first. So drop in a blend material. Hook it into the replace material and now we hook the bump map into the bump slot of the blend material. Again, press ALT on release to get the slot menu. Hey waitress, bring me the slot menu, will ya? <laughs> Let's view what we got. You can move the light using the middle mouse button. Now this is a material preview and the light in here has nothing to do with our scene lights. Okay, now we want to see the material on the skull. View the replace material and let's turn on viewport lighting. I want to try to get some nice highlights on the raindrops here. For that I select the blend material and put the color all the way to black. We do this because we want only highlights. No diffuse shading. Then open the specular drop down and set the specular intensity to 2 and the specular exponent to 100. This should give us very sharp highlights. Now don't forget, we are using a light so we need to turn on lighting inside the renderer. But again, we don't need shadows this time. So go ahead and view the renderer. Now this is not a very interesting frame, so what about another one? Uh, perhaps let's go to frame... what about 97? Okay, so the light's position is really boring, but we can bring this further. Select the light and swing over to the transformation tab and in the X offset type 1.126 for the Y 0.868 and for the Z, 0 0.959. And bang! With such simple adjustments, we have created much more interesting highlights. Now the past creation was more technical than creative and some of you sea dogs have jumped off my ship. But for you pirates who bear with me, you might be looking forward to the next episode. The one where we finally compose the skull passes and do some creative swag. Now get some good sleep for tomorrow will be another rich day. One is a yo-ho-ho! 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 Yo, ho.